one of the things I look at commonly first is water cycle because you are all aware of how important the rain is to you and I will often say to a rancher what would you pay me if I could double your rainfall and they'll say God that, that is worth so much I can't imagine it do you know it's easy to do just double the effectiveness it's easy to do it doesn't even cost money to do it you make money doing it if you can just change the thinking right so on water cycle I'd be looking at this and saying on a scale of 1 to 10 where do I think this is and as you gain experience you'll do it better and better but let's just take a wild guess first before we talk each one of you on 1 to 10 where would you put the water cycle effectiveness on this land above five below five below five okay that's probably good enough isn't that telling you you've got a tremendous lot of room for improvement now here in Texas I, I have talked about doubling the stocking rate and I've had people with PhDs invoking God against me and saying this is what God gave us and you can't do any better it, it, that's not the way to think use your imagination okay so water cycle we could go a lot better I would agree with you that it's low and what are the clues I'm looking for I usually go barefoot <laughs> when people got their damn cameras I put my shoes on if you saw that film last night they caught me barefoot a few times you feel a bit like a hooligan but <laughs> I'm, I like to be barefoot and hunt barefoot and everything and you can feel through your feet that the hardness of this ground you can feel it when you walk at home on your carpet you don't have to be told you're on the carpet when you walk onto the concrete you don't have to be told you feel it if you're used to working w walking barefoot you can feel the ground and when it's soft water soaks in when it's hard this is hard water doesn't soak in well and to for the water to be effective you've got to have air and water and so when I look at it and I see <coughs> the plants and I'll, I'll just narrow leafed like this and I see a lot of narrow leaf plants that's telling me that there's not a good balance of air and water in the soil so that that alone is telling me from a water cycle point of view this could be much more effective if I could get air into the soil and water because if you get too much water in without the air you get narrow leaf plants that grow very slowly they're not very productive if you get too much air in and not enough water you get narrow leaf plants you've got to try and get a balance between them and usually it means a spongy nice crumb structure gardeners know this don't they yeah so so rather than going and taking say range management at college go and join the old ladies and tennis shoes at the garden club you'll actually learn better stuff and I, I'm joking but there's many a true word spoken in jest yeah. You see how narrow leafed yeah. it is? Yeah. No, I do see that. Mm. So and that's a perennial that a that's probably several years old. So it doesn't matter what time. But your point is good. If if you come at the wrong time and there may be something there, but when you're looking at perennials, now I'm seeing this is narrow leaf, narrow leaf, narrow leaf. So I'm seeing a lot of that. And that would just tell me, okay, I can make a lot of improvement here. That's and that's it. As simple as that. And then, okay, if we left water cycle for a moment, well, you can also see the cutting of the gully on the edge. You can see the hard soil as you came up. If you left water cycle for a moment, and, um, well, before I leave it, is, is that clear what we were saying? And just how simple it is that even without experience of this land, you can see that it can be at least 100% better.